When you happen upon a cave carved into a mountainside, you might want to think twice before entering. Published to YouTube by The Highway 9 in September of 2017, this video serves as a warning to never ever go caving alone. The footage takes you through a deep and dark rock hewn cave. Along the way, bats are seen hanging from the ceiling, and a long black centipede like insect is climbing the walls. But the creepiest part is yet to come. As the YouTuber rounds a corner, he senses something deeper in the tunnel. He presses on, peering into the darkness, and seems to see a figure beyond. Highway writes, I'm not sure what I saw, but it scared the wits out of me. Needless to say, he fled the scene as anyone would. YouTuber Lee Stat444 writes in the comments, This is what happens when you enter a cave full of bats, dusts, and insects. You find Batman. Whether this unfortunate explorer found that or something much more nefarious is anybody's guess. But I'm gonna err on the side of the second choice. The Stones River Paranormal Team is investigating a haunted courthouse in Tennessee when something truly bizarre happens. One of them is talking about how Colder hands feel when all of the sudden. One of the double doors leading to the bathroom unlocks and swings shut. The team tries to recreate the situation to see if it's just a loose hinge or a faulty lock. But this doesn't seem to be the case at all. The door has no problem staying open for the rest of the night and doesn't shut again. Long before this particular room was remodeled, it was used as a prison for captured Union soldiers. During the Civil War, it only makes sense that paranormal activity would occur in this historic corner of the courthouse. A YouTuber named Mark Johnson and his group are conducting a paranormal investigation in the Cave of the Winds a supposedly haunted underground location in the Colorado wilderness. Apparently, whatever is down there with them lacks patience and will not wait until they're finished setting up equipment to begin. Probably kick on the uh, spirit box here in a minute. I don't know. Almost, almost, almost. None of them hear the noise until they review the tape, which I find strange because the camera picks it up so well. The sound was either truly paranormal or possibly just their equipment dragging across the ground. A short while later, they catch two orbs while walking, followed by this scream. I think this scream was probably a supernatural encounter because it happens in the middle of an otherwise regular conversation. But listen to this part and tell me what you believe. Finally, this bizarre, unseen light source magically flickers after Mark Johnson asks for spiritual confirmation. Is there anybody in this part of the cave here with me? <sighs> What's weird is how the shimmering effect goes away when Mark shines his flashlight over the patch of land. There's really no reason for an object to suddenly stop reflecting light like that, especially when it was just reflecting light two seconds earlier. In my opinion, the reflection should have grown brighter when put in a direct beam of light, not go away completely, which makes me think all of this is real. Mick Jugger Nuggets is a famous YouTuber who comes home one day only to find evidence of a serious break-in. Some of his possessions are missing, things that he is sure were in his room earlier before. Somebody took the hard drive. Hard drive to what? All my behind the scenes. Somebody literally came into the house. And must have taken this shit. I'm going to check the security camera. He argues with his father for a bit about the likelihood of someone breaking in, but the security video does not lie. Hold on, here it comes. Sure enough, some stranger cases the house by knocking on the door a few times, even going so far as trying the knob. Soon, he uses a long tool to pry open a window and reaches inside to quickly scoop up a nearby hard drive before taking off. Oh my god, dude. Much to Mick Jugger Nugget's amazement, the window was right next to his bed. He soon comes to the sickening realization that this person, who was perhaps a stalker, 
literally reached into his room to retrieve a hard drive full of unedited video content. Who knows what this deranged fan will come back for next time. Okay, so this isn't a video per se, but it was too eerie to pass up. This was recorded around 10 years ago in a home in Philadelphia. The family kept hearing noises coming from the basement, so they decided to hire a paranormal team who placed a recorder down there and waited. Nothing happened for three days, and then, at 3.12 a.m., they recorded this. The horrible recording continues to go on and on, seemingly forever. No video evidence was ever produced, but these possibly paranormal screams will continue to live on YouTube for years to come. This leaked video is over 10 years old and comes from Tacoma County in Washington. A couple are hiking together on Valentine's Day when they hear something in the sky and look up. Oh my god. That is on fire. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy sh Some kind of meteorite falls towards Earth, and they rush down the path to investigate. They quickly find the rock sticking out of the ground and make a quick video to document their find. Get me and it. Yes, it is go talk, this please. Thing has come out of the sky. Uh, <laughs> Their reactions seem pretty real, but I'm not sure if I believe that a meteorite could land that closely without causing some kind of damage to them. Let me know if you think this video is legitimate. I'm especially interested in learning exactly what happens to people who are close to a meteorite, because from what I understand, I thought they usually go deaf from the impact. This next video is most likely CGI, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time dissecting it. It was supposedly taken somewhere in the open waters in 2013. Crew members are recording a whale when all of the sudden, they capture something that, if not fake, is absolutely insane. The whole situation looks way too dramatic for me to believe it was just a natural event. I think a real shark attack would have been more visceral and also most likely would have taken place underwater. The Mikey Mike channel encounters a bizarre sighting in the clear blue sky that leaves him freaked out. The creepy moments were also caught on dash cam so we can have a look too. In case you missed it, I'll give it to you again right now. It's easy. E-A-S-Y. Now what you want to do is take that code word easy and text that What the hell? Where the f*** that just come from? A bolt of lightning touches down on a sunny day, no rain, hardly any clouds in the sky, and the few hanging around have not even a touch of gray. There's no clouds here! Look! No clouds! I like just came from space! Mikey can't shake the feeling that he's seen something he was never meant to see. This video got me curious, and I was able to find a second one like it, half as long and twice as weird. Oh, I hope I got that that time. I don't know if I did or not. It's in the corner over here. At one second, a flash of lightning touches down without intersecting with a cloud at all. It seems to just literally come out of the blue. I looked up what this was and came across a term called dry lightning that I have heard before but never really studied in depth. This is a name for what happens when precipitation evaporates really fast. It's technically raining but we just don't notice because rain doesn't reach the ground, but lightning does. These two videos basically mean you can get struck down by a random bolt at any time, even on a nice day. There really is no safe time to stand under trees or by anything metal when you consider that this is apparently a common phenomenon. You might have almost gotten struck by lightning plenty of times without even noticing it because it's silent and you probably weren't looking up. Freaky, right? This next video shows that even a zip line is in perfect condition. With flawless equipment is never truly safe. Sometimes things just go wrong. 
A giant gator pops up to try and snag this instructor out of the air. There is a decent amount of space between the two, but I'm sure it was plenty close enough if you asked her. And she definitely knows what waits for her should she ever make a future mistake and fall in. So I guess the final and most important lesson of zip lining over water is to always keep your legs up because you never know what's lurking below the surface waiting to take a chomp. Visit Louisiana and you might just run into a gator or two, or maybe a thousand. Published in January of 2011, Marvin Carter writes, This is something you just don't see every day. Carter says this video was sent to him from the mouth of the Mississippi by one of his friends. What you're about to see will make your skin crawl. At first, the river looks normal with dozens of rocks jutting out of it. But when the camera zooms in, you realize those aren't rocks. Then, even more horrifyingly, this little speedboat starts its journey through the sea of alligators. They're all moving about, but the good news is, it looks like they're just trying to get out of the way, not start trouble. While many in the comments agree that this is terrifying, most also suggest that gators generally don't mess with you. Still, this scary video desperately needs an explanation, and commenter canoeing the edge of the world seems to have one. He writes, For some reason, alligators just decide every once in a while to have a little get-together and they bring the whole family. I think I'll skip this reunion. A paranormal explorer from Turkey named Anzari is documenting a haunted tunnel that's too scary for him to get very far. Behind him, an eerie red ring radiates with an evil force. He knows he has to get out quick or else he will succumb to its terrifying effects. But as he creeps near the entrance, the haunted tunnel takes a final swipe at him. And Zari's had enough and decides to block off the tunnel to contain whatever evil is inside. But it seems as though whatever scary thing he's caught on tape has other plans. <laughs> It seems like the rock could have simply fallen over here, but it's very heavy and shouldn't tip over so easily. It's hard to say if it was pushed over by a ghost or simply off balance to begin with. So let me know if you think this video is paranormal or not. As for why only a small portion of the tunnel would be glowing red like that, I have no idea. The roads in Guwahati, India are apparently haunted. Just ask Abinash Kishore, aka the Mind Hunter. He pulls up behind a vehicle with an extreme background story that I'll get into in just a second. First, try to translate what he says about this truck, and then I'll tell you what I was able to research. Guys, Okay, so get this. I did some deep digging and found out that this truck is actually the only hearse service offered in the area. Before this company came to be, people used to carry the departed to the nearest graveyard. As an extra bonus, on this blog post, I found information on three extremely creepy but also saddening comments requesting the service as soon as possible. That means within this metal container could be someone passed away. So when he finds not one, but two of these vehicles lined up in the middle of nowhere, he knows that something really bad must have happened, and he better not stick around for long. Long. Unfortunately for him, the time to leave safely has already passed. <laughs> Stop. 
stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. The mind hunter's assistant gets scared and drives off, but the mind hunter will have none of it and makes him return. There is another brief sighting until the figure fades away into darkness. This alleged ghost sighting caught on video could simply be a third member of the group, but since it happens not far from where they found the abandoned vehicles that could have had passed away people inside, it could be real. Jake Atafi is in his living room when someone pulls open the screen door really slowly and just lets it shut. No follow-up knock, no footsteps walking away, nothing. Even his dog is wondering what the deal is. Jake stops recording to check and claims no one was outside. It's creepy, but it's too bad he didn't record out of his window to prove that his house is as haunted as he says it is. There's nothing creepier than finding extra limbs in your home movie. Published to YouTube in March of 2015 by Patrick Cochran. This video of the haunted Hinsdale house in New York will leave you terrified. Located on McMahon Road in Hinsdale, New York, the Hinsdale House runs tours for paranormal investigators and scare fans alike, as it's known to be one of the most haunted houses in the area. The mysterious history of the place includes everything, from an exorcism to unexplainable events and sightings. Some of these events are recorded in the book, Echoes of a Haunting. Haunting is centered around the Dandy family who lived in the home with their kin in the 70s. The family claims a number of spirits visited them during their stay, and they even had a priest come on more than one occasion to perform an exorcism. The house went out though, and the Dandy family eventually fled the haunted place. A number of other families made attempts to call the Hinsdale house their home, but no one stayed for long. The present owner, Daniel Clays, doesn't live in the home, but allows paranormal teams to investigate the home. This video may show an investigation, or just a regular ghost tour. The group wanders through the haunted house in the darkness, which is creepy enough as it is. Then around 2.36 you see it. A strange arm swings into sight in the darkness. What is that? It certainly doesn't look human. YouTuber Tommy Poo writes in the comments, Of all the countless videos I have viewed on YouTube and other social media sites since 2009, this is only the second where I believe visual proof of paranormal entities has been digitally captured. YouTuber Tai Chiman adds, I was involved in the paranormal investigation show as a special guest star at the Hinsdale House two years ago and it has plagued me since with negative activity around me and my home. It seems Tai was certainly not alone in his experience. There's a reason no family ever lasted long in the Hinsdale House. Could you? Me neither. A YouTuber in Australia named Sir Makes A Lot is led by his excited child into the living room to check out a new toy he's been playing with. Come on. What he finds is this monster roach slowly pedaling away on freakishly long legs. The toy car is smaller than the bug itself. That's simply terrifying. And when you have a cockroach that's big enough to clog a vacuum cleaner, it's time to move. I mean to a new continent. I don't think I could ever live in Australia with cockroaches that size roaming around. No offense, Australia. After all, we have towns here in Canada where polar bears wander around. An urban exploration and paranormal investigation channel called SCPC Ghost makes a video about an abandoned house in Colton, California for no reason other than he thinks it looks interesting enough to record on camera. He videos the outside of the house from some different angles for a while and then decides it's time to explore the inside. The inside is well lit and yet there is a mysterious moving shadow that may or may not be paranormal. The shadow goes away and that's when he hears a soft creepy noise. Hello? Anybody here? Nobody responds and so he decides to fully investigate the abandoned house for evidence of the paranormal. 
In the kitchen, he records what could be a small, pale ghost sighting in the window. In the back of the abandoned house, he finds what could be a secret room on the other side of this brick wall. There's an opening that's too small to climb through, but small enough to drop food into, like someone was held captive. It's crazy. It's worth it. And the marks on this door shown at two minutes likewise look like someone tried to claw their way out. It's a small search, and he's about to leave when he realizes there's one final creepy dark room to explore for paranormal evidence. He does not get a single step inside before he finds out this abandoned house is not so abandoned after all. Oh, I'm sorry about that. A voice in the darkness scares him, and he does not look inside to see who it belongs to. Had he checked, he might have found the room was empty, and that the woman's voice was nothing more than an EVP caught on camera. Instead, he sidesteps into the other room and, in doing so, accidentally records a mysterious moving shadow figure on the way out. Just taking some pictures of the property. I'll be out here in a second, all right? You scared me. I don't know if this is a paranormal ghost encounter or a woman who is going through hard times and trying to hide. All I know is that a voice doesn't have to sound scary to be terrifying, at least not when it's coming from the darkest corners of this sad little abandoned home. If you've lost a loved one, you might sometimes feel that their spirit is still with you, and if you're anything like TikTok or E to the R to the ICA, you might find video proof that this is actually true. Erica R. 1971 posted this ghostly video to the site writing, So my security picked this up tonight. My dad passed on November 26, and I wonder if it's him. The footage shows a ghostly figure pass by, floating casually past the security camera. The figure is white and vapor-like, appearing across the scene from right to left. If Erica is right, and this is in fact her father's spirit, what is he trying to tell her? Does he just want to comfort her by making his presence known? It does not look like CGI to me, so I think this video is 100% real. In Erica's place, would you feel comforted by a ghost? What are these bright lights in the sky? The lights start to appear one by one. On a two autres encore de nouvelles. Qu'est-ce que ça va faire? On sait pas. Ils sont plus proches là. C'est beaucoup beaucoup plus à gauche. There's no information attached to this video about where it was filmed, but the clip continues for a minute and a half without the lights changing much in position. They do start to shift a little toward the end, though. Les lumières sont plus, on ne voit pas sur la vidéo, là, mais les lumières sont plus. Euh, bizarre, hein? hey, ça ne bouge pas, je vois, avec les vents dehors. Ouais, ça ne bouge pas, rien. Are these lights on singular aircrafts, or are they arranged on one larger aircraft? They appear to me to be individual aircrafts flying in formation, or rather hovering. But apart from unidentified flying objects, I have no clue what they might be. Do you? When two strangers pull up to your boat on the Nile, you have to assume the worst. This area is known for pirates. They cast a line and tie themselves to the ship in preparation to board. Oh dear lord. The one in white reaches down and then back turns, stands up while holding something. All right, guys, look for art. Does anyone see an G in there? He reaches back into his pocket and pulls out nothing but towels. As it turns out, this area is full of traveling salesmen too, even at sea. Still, I think they probably should have ran for help as soon as they thought these could be pirates, instead of recording in plain sight and making themselves an easy target. A YouTuber named Jmans Vlogs 356 was watching a movie. When he hears a noise coming from the basement, he notices that the door, which is normally locked, has somehow become unlocked in the past few minutes. Thinking fast, Jay grabs a large hammer and braces himself for the worst. Soon after, something stops him before he even gets a chance to go down the steps. He 
claims to have seen a face, and his camera does pick up what could be the head of a tall man staring back at him. According to the description for this video, the police were called and the man was arrested, though there is no proof to back up this story aside from this video evidence. Hey, it's Liam is a British YouTuber doing a 24-hour challenge in a local abandoned sanatorium. He and his friends climb through an open window and waste no time exploring a series of long interconnected hallways. For whatever they can find, the floor is covered with scattered papers. It's definitely creepy, but they decide to press on. They venture downstairs and find lots of graffiti on the wall, strange messages like don't listen to the voices, and how long will they keep me down here? It's unclear whether or not these words were written by patients before the facility closed down. Now midnight is fast approaching and Liam hears a noise nearby. They bravely go to investigate as a group, and this is what they find. I don't know. A door that was opened moments ago slams in front of them. Then, as they are trying not to panic and decide what to do next, a scream interrupts their thoughts and sends them fleeing. Let me know if you think the scream was real or edited. A man has been plagued by a demonic invasion that refuses to give him peace. On February 9th of 2017, he records not one, but two shadow figures ominously standing nearby. All you can do is hear his nasal breathing as he watches, stunned and trying not to scream. All while this heavy drape breathes in and out all by itself. Watch how it moves. That's not the wind. Besides, it was staying still for the past 4 minutes and 40 seconds prior. And you don't even want to see what's moving on his other window. I'll show you its true form in just a little bit. But for now, let's focus on a couple different incidences first. On July 22nd of that same year, he is turning over a crystal again and again, possibly in hopes that some of its protective energy will rub off on him. Slowly but surely, this bright spot begins to manifest itself before his very eyes, starting at 1 minute and 33 seconds. Hope turns to horror as the omen spins around to reveal a grinning reptile-like face that he is sure is the lord of the underworld himself. Its stony face shrouded in half darkness. This ties into a separate incident 12 days earlier on July 10th. That's when he claims to have recorded what he calls a ghoul lurking in the bush outside of his window. When you pause at 3 seconds, it does look like the top half of a skeletal face that soon disappears into the bushes, black eyes and all. That definitely wasn't a normal animal, so what was it? It looks remarkably similar to the face seen in the crystal nearly two weeks later. Sometimes it would show up in the most unlikely of places, like the folds of a piece of fabric as shown here on February 15th, 2017. Do you see the creepy goblin face with a long nose, big ears and open mouth? I can even see an eye. And that's the more friendly of the two faces. This second one looks like two worried eyes and a mouth locked in a permanent scream. There's not as much detail and some of the features are disproportionate and misshapen, but it's still there nonetheless. So now that you've seen the demon's face a few times, I suppose you are ready to see the rest of it and the rest of the original video. This is what he saw crawling into his home that fateful early February day. This upside down creature is in fact one of the many beings who he claims to see on the regular. It's hard to make out exactly what this is, but it's harder still to disprove it and it gives me a bad feeling all around. I tend to believe this video and all of these sightings for that matter. He claims the quality of the video has somehow sharply deteriorated over time since uploading, and that the being at one point looked more detailed and even had horns. I don't see how this is possible for a digital copy to become less clear, but the colors do look muted here and apparently were brighter. So I want to know if you think that this man is legitimately seeing demons around his house, or if this is all happening in his mind. As much as I want to believe this is a delusion like some people think it is, I don't necessarily agree. The problem is I do see a lot of what he claims on video, so there's a good chance it could be true. Jeff Kessler is camping in the middle of nowhere, all by himself when a low rumbling noise jolts him awake. It's coming from just outside his tent. He 
bravely investigates the perimeter of his campsite, armed with only a flashlight. After some searching, he finally comes across the creature that woke him up a few minutes earlier. It appears to be an oddly shaped humanoid creature with broad hips and shoulders, but skinny limbs and a narrow head. Jeff only briefly catches it on camera before turning to run. Apparently, park rangers found his camera under this heavy and mysterious structure of bundled trees, but no signs of Jeff himself. I could find no news articles to verify this story as real, so it could just be an art project. Then again, or maybe it was even a cover-up. Let me know what you think. A paranormal explorer in India known as Grey Wolf searches for evidence of the paranormal in the ruins of an abandoned shopping mall that's said to be haunted. On the balcony of the second floor, they find a small room hidden away that gives them a bad feeling. Personal clothing items from many different people seem to be piled in the corner, and maybe even a child's backpack. Grey Wolf continues exploring various abandoned places until they get to the next floor. Tell me what Grey Wolf's friend is pointing out moments before it happens. A loud crash turns them around. Whatever he says, it's enough to make an object clatter to the floor from somewhere deeper inside. They hear footsteps and go to the roof, but no one's there. Then they hear another noise at the bottom. Did something walk past them on the stairs? They go down to investigate and find the place is empty, or so they think. Hello? A ghostly voice calls from somewhere unseen. He turns to the adjacent room, but I heard it from the woods, kind of at where they were pointing before. When they look out the window, a ghost or something bangs loudly, and then another loud crash before a witch's laughter fills the otherwise empty room. <laughs> They claim to hear a chant, and at that exact moment, a mysterious and unexpected light pierces the dark room. Whatever it is, it seems to like playing on the stairs. An animal runs away, probably a cat from the looks of it, but that couldn't have been what made the very human voices they heard earlier. Many people suspect that this was a spirit called a djinn, who, according to legends, can take the shape of animals at will. Have you ever come across a video so scary that you don't want to inflict that feeling of impending doom on others? This video was posted by Hirsch Duchy to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The redditor asks for some help in discerning what's happening here. Dutchie is in an abandoned house that's littered with junk. While wandering around the space, he arrives at the kitchen. You can see the cupboard door is slightly ajar. A moment later, it opens wider on its own. The Redditor said he didn't notice this strange event at the moment. It was only when he was showing his mother the video later that he realized something unseen might have been in the house with him. Well, Dechi asked for help explaining this, and plenty of Redditors rose to the occasion. Many in the comments of this clip suggest that the wind and the open door were involved, noting that you can hear the wind and see the plants moving outside. Nails or anything like that. The Redditor agrees that it's probably the wind, but wanted to see what others thought, whether or not there may be a paranormal theory. He also notes that the wind wasn't blowing in the direction to open the door. Redditor Kaliana78, however, appears to disagree with the others writing. If it were the wind that blew that open, why wasn't all the junk blowing around as well? 
What do you think? Is this just another episode of wind and air streams causing movements in inanimate objects? Or is there something seriously dark going on in this house? YouTuber Trevor Heasley published this clip in August of 2016. The footage was on the set of Postcards, a 2008 Pasadena City College student film. He'd taken it during the film shoot at the Metropolitan State Mental Hospital. Although the cast and crew heard a lot of ruckus during filming, they didn't see anything unusual. That is, until Trevor got his camera home and watched the footage back. The abandoned state mental hospital appears quite eerie in the footage, darkened windows on a hot summer day. The footage involves lots of close-ups and long shots of the area, including some gags with the cast. Everyone seems to be having a good time on the shoot, but will what happened next haunt them? During the shoot of one scene, the vapor-thin figure of a ghost appears to be walking across the hallway right before two of the cast. Apparently completely unaware of what just crossed their path, come running through. Okay, so it probably won't haunt them, being as they weren't even aware of what was happening before their own very eyes. That is, unless the spirit somehow inhabited one of them. I think we need a follow up with the cast and crew of Postcards, and maybe then we can solve this scary mystery. If a tree falls on you in the forest and no one is around to hear you scream, do you make a sound? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Essex Haunted, the Redditor explains that in Puckley, Kent, UK, there is a forest known as Daring Woods, otherwise known as the Screaming Woods. Legend has it, those who have passed there haunt the place with their screams. Although Essex posted only a personal pic, he linked to a video of said forest, which was published to YouTube in September of 2016 by LC Play Z. In the distance, you can really hear horrifying screaming from the depths of the forest. Oh my gosh. She, she screamed back at the man in the video asks if they should scream back, and maybe that's just what this is. Live people having screaming matches back and forth at each other from opposite sides of the woods. Or maybe, like the Redditor suggests, there's another natural explanation. Responding to whether it could be some species of wild cat, Essex writes, more likely to do with the ways the trees are very closely grown and the wind. Although in a later comment he adds, I've spent three nights there. In the last two months filming, some of the noises are just, well, hard to explain. According to Essex Ghost Hunters, the village of Puckley nearby is also one of the UK's most haunted ghost towns. So nature or ghosts? Do you have a better explanation for this screaming? Empty roads at night can be quite sinister, especially when this happens. Posted to TikTok, Leslie Alexis writes that she and her sister went out to get ICs at 2.30 in the morning. When they arrived at the first stoplight on the way out of their neighborhood, it was green, but the white truck waiting at the light didn't budge. The pair beeped, but it still didn't move. They eventually went around. They went and got their ICs and returned home. On their way back, the car was still sitting at the light. They passed it, pulled a Yui, and drove by again, trying to see if there was anyone inside, but the windows were too tinted. Some in the comments were worried the driver might have had a medical emergency. Others think that they just fell asleep or passed out at the wheel. In part two of the video series, Leslie explains that they returned home and told their mom, and she drove them back to the stoplight. Once there, the car was gone. It was 3 a.m. Coincidence? Maybe. But it makes you wonder what exactly happened here. 5. The territories in Germany were divided into four allied occupation zones. As decided by the leaders of the Allied Powers, the Soviet Union took the eastern half of Germany, while Great Britain, the US, and France took the western half. Berlin was about 100 miles from the western border, smack dab in the eastern or Soviet side of the country. Despite this, 
The city was also divided into sectors in June 1945, with the Allies again taking the western half of the city itself and the Soviets taking the eastern half. The Soviets did not like the capitalist city of West Berlin, located in eastern Germany, so they started taking steps to drive out West Berlin and its capitalist agenda from the region. First, they tried to starve them out of the city by setting up a blockade of West Berlin. However, the Allies airdropped in supplies to the residents, over 2.3 million tons of food and other supplies to be exact delivered for over a year during Operation Berlin Airlift. In 1949, the Soviet blockade was finally stopped. The waters were calm again until 1958. Over the previous decade, around 3 million refugees and defectors, including skilled workers such as engineers, teachers, and doctors, crossed over to West Berlin from the east. This humiliated the Soviets. On August 13, 1961, the Soviet Premier decided it was best to close the border by constructing a concrete block wall with barbed wire, officially dividing East and West. In this way, East Germany could keep out the fascists from the West and maintain their socialist state. In order to get around the wall, you had to go through one of the three checkpoints at which East German soldiers screened travelers, diplomats, and other officials. The wall was later fortified, made much higher and sturdier, and on the East German side, a gauntlet-type area served to prevent any more defectors from crossing via floodlights, tripwire traps, and dogs. This wall stood from 1961 to 1989. 28 years. On November 9th of 1989, the border was opened. People were now free to cross again from east to west and vice versa. The live coverage of those crowds that swarmed the wall with hammers and picks to tear down this wall, as President Ronald Reagan so famously put it, was scary and exhilarating at once. Cranes and bulldozers did the rest. All of this fascinating footage was caught on live TV. The ensuing celebration that occurred as the floodgates were opened was called the greatest street party in the history of the world by one journalist. Though the event was celebratory, it was also scary, as no one knew what the future held in Germany. As it turns out, a united Germany would be a leader in the 21st century and one of the strongest economies in Europe. While an elderly woman was napping, a spirit decided to disturb her sleep. Captured on a home security camera in Singapore, YouTuber Gilbert Chan shares what happens when a ghost wants you to get no rest. Watch the woman's blanket. But that is just the start. After readjusting, the lady goes back to sleep, but not for long. After the air freshener on the table flies across the room before her very eyes, she decides that sleeping isn't on her agenda today. According to the YouTuber, this whole neighborhood is reputed to be cursed, but why bother this poor old woman? My theory is that this spirit doesn't want anyone to get any rest, since he wasn't able to rest in peace. Have you ever owned a doll that just isn't right? One that you spot on your desk in the darkness of night, staring at you? Published in May of 2015, this footage of a haunted doll will make your toes curl. The doll in question, which looks creepy in its wide-eyed stare already, suddenly does something you least expect. It blinks. 
The person taking the video hurries off, likely not wanting to see what the doll will do next. One of the freakiest things about this footage is that the doll doesn't look like a little girl's toy. It's a full grown woman doll, makeup and all. You don't expect an inanimate doll to suddenly blink at you in the darkness. When it does, that image stays with you. It haunts you. Ring doorbells seem to capture more than you were bargaining for. Posted to the ghosts subreddit by Yakuza Disco Man. This redditor is wondering if what he's caught on his ring doorbell is paranormal. The security camera shows a wide shot of a street outside his home with several parked cars along it. Nothing unusual that is, until this ghostly figure streams past in the darkness. The semi-transparent phantom appears like he's trailing fog. Is this a spirit on a nighttime stroll? Redditor Noobvin reigns on our ghost hunting parade writing. This is a camera glitch due to low lighting, and the way the ring camera saves space with video and images, it's looking for pixel changes, and with low light, it is only detecting a fraction of the actual image, which makes the image appear transparent, noting that it's not really a glitch per se, but rather the design of the camera in order to reduce high bandwidth. Noobvin is pretty sure it's not a ghost. Others suggested that the Redditor reenact the event under these same conditions to see if he can replicate this. Let's hope he does. Better safe than sorry. Nevertheless, I genuinely think this footage is creepy. Dennis Allen takes an inner tube down the local creek. It's something he's done often before, but this time it's raining and the currents are stronger than he has ever seen. Still, Dennis is confident in his abilities and bravely sets forward. The ride starts out gentle enough but soon picks up speed as he moves into more open waters. Soon he really begins to regret not bringing a paddle, as he is carried through low hanging branches and other thorny obstacles. He manages to keep his balance for about 5 minutes, until it becomes apparent that he can no longer hold on. He is carried downstream and eventually clings to a bridge while water rushes beneath him. Dennis seems to be trying to stay calm, but I can detect some fear in his voice, perhaps more than he is meant to let on. He quickly realizes pulling himself out of the water is going to be a lot harder than he initially thought. Oh, this was something stupid. Oh, shoot. Dennis slowly works his way to the shallow end. Without letting go and eventually he climbs out with the help of a nearby bridge pole. Looking down you can see he was clearly not exaggerating the danger. The current is strong enough to pull a full grown man under. These friends are staying at a hotel when they see flashing lights coming from the bathroom mirror and hear rumbling noises on the other side. It sounds like a classic haunted hotel setting at first, but when they take the bathroom mirror and flip it around, they see two holes that look to me like someone was spying on them. Scratches here and here that you can see directly through the mirror. Directly through. But this situation gets way more intense than just a peephole. Much to their surprise and horror, there was also a rectangular hole cut into the wall leading directly into the next room over. Whoever cut this hole could literally climb through the wall anytime they wanted to, day or night. They could silently watch the group in the mirror to know when they were leaving, then climb through to mess with their stuff. Or worse still, they would know when you were about to go to bed and could enter while they were all asleep to do who knows what. I don't know how any of this ended, but I do know their lives could have been at risk if they didn't discover this in time. I think this situation is real, because I don't think they would destroy a hotel wall just to make a video. Hopefully they called the police and caught whoever invaded their privacy. This video comes from a YouTuber named Mike Robbins and his team of paranormal investigators. They are using a modified Kinect camera and special software to hunt ghosts while wandering around the basement of an old abandoned asylum when suddenly their equipment detects a major hit. Can you come back and talk to us? Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. Mike asks the ghost for its name, how long it's lived here, if it likes living here, and other questions but gets no response. The spirit does not seem to want to cooperate. Oh, now he's waving. Thank you. 
Or maybe he's telling us to go. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell if the ghost is waving at them or shooing them away. If this is an insane asylum, then maybe this ghost just wants to be left alone. Then again, there's no real way to verify if the equipment really does work, so we'll never know for sure. Working from home has its perks, but this might deter some. Posted to the very spooky video subreddit by External Tangents, this redditor was home on a gloomy day when he heard some strange noises. At his door, the noise sounds like distant clicking. He opens his hallway door to investigate. Out in the hallway, you can hear whining and slamming. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Then as he looks up to find an outside door open, it clanks loudly. He's found the culprit. At the top of the stairs, the exit door to the roof is open. Heading out onto the roof, he finds no one there. Although the mystery is solved, some think it's odd that the exit alarm isn't blaring. They also find the sounds and visuals quite spooky. If you heard this while you were alone in your apartment, would you have the nerve to investigate? I'd be looking for a new place to live. At first, Redditor Dawn Grager believes this sound was in her imagination, but then she recorded it. Listen closely. It sounds like a strangled scream. Some in the comments think it's just air escaping a container of some kind. Others think it's a trapped animal. I wouldn't rule out a portal to the fiery depths below, but those two theories also seem likely. This sound is for sure something you don't want to be imagining. YouTuber named Ariane Childress is a ghost hunter using some sort of paranormal software that I'm not familiar with. It almost looks like split screen night vision with some sort of enhancement feature on the right. Anyway, Ariane uses the program to capture what appears to be an oversized face lingering in her window. Well, seriously, I'm like looking at this window, there's nothing out there. <laughs> it looks like there's a face. That's really creepy. She says that she's been feeling watched in real life when she turned the app on and pointed it towards the window. Meanwhile, the colors continue to switch from pitch black to a gray discolored face. Not normal. Be sure to let me know what this app is and how it works if you have any knowledge. This TikTok user has no dancing or lip syncing, just a creepy room with whispering voices on the other end of a white door with no knob. The lack of a knob does not stop some force from opening and closing the door. The door is fully shut and you can even hear the latch unclick here. Finally, with absolutely no edits or cuts, the person recording gets up to reveal a small closet with just clothes inside. A YouTuber named Sammy Pena is waiting in the car alone when a total stranger walks up and tries to open all of her doors. I think this is far from an honest mistake because listen to how hard he pulls on the handle. He was really hoping that someone didn't shut their door all the way. But the real giveaway is how he doesn't even try to unlock the driver's door. 
He probably knows from experience that this door is almost always locked and not worth bothering with. Between her tinted windows and sunglasses, he seems not to notice anyone's in the back seat at all. He casually walks away empty handed, at least until someone forgets to lock their doors. Okay, so there's this tech channel from Singapore called Computer Guys, and one of their videos is beyond creepy. Weird things are continuously caught on tape in one of the most unlikely places is to ever become haunted, a bare, nondescript server room. No one is seen on two different security cams and yet the door opens by itself. A ghost did it, they later say. I guess they were having technical problems shortly afterwards because IT workers come into the room to run some programs and check wires. No sooner do they leave does the paranormal activity return. As the minutes pass, the laptop flips back open right before an IT worker walks in to check some things. Everything looks fine, nothing weird, and then things get scary in a paranormal way. A sighting of a ghost on the floor is caught on camera, which is then knocked over. Some paranormal investigators will tell you that electricity attracts the supernatural, so it makes sense that a ghost would haunt a high voltage server room if that were true. With that said, the whispering at the end does seem a little over the top to be real, and makes me wonder if this scary ghost sighting video is legitimate. A popular YouTuber named Mikey021 has reason to believe his house in Brazil is really haunted. He says it's not uncommon for objects to go moving on their own. Tell me if you think this home experiment is real or not. This video might be a spirit or he could be blowing plastic cups off his counter with a hair dryer. It looks paranormal until you realize it could simply be wind. If some heavier objects were caught on camera from a different angle, showing both sides of the counter, then I would be more readily convinced. But as it stands, I'm just not sure if his house is haunted. If you're playing hide and seek in the woods, expect to be sought by something sinister. Published by Rexyboy34 in September of 2009, this group was messing around in the woods when they realized they were not alone. Own. The cameraman taking the video scans the ground and the surrounding woods, which look particularly eerie in the afternoon. As the camera pans toward his three friends, someone else is creeping behind them. What the f was that? Behind you. I'm being serious, there was some out there. There was. I'm not, there was some out there. A figure in black appears for a moment over one of their shoulders. The cameraman calls attention to the figure, and they all turn around to look, but by the time they do, the figure has disappeared behind a tree in the distance. The group thinks he's kidding around, but I see the figure too. As they all watch the tree for a moment, the figure reappears and takes a stride toward them. We are left filled with screams and confusion. What is this figure after, and why is he stalking them? This radio DJ is live on air when all of the lights go out. Some of his equipment is still on though, so this is not a normal blackout. He is all alone and doesn't know what to do, so he calls someone for help, probably a management at home or technical support. That's when a cloaked figure passes by the window and makes him put down the phone. He creeps to the window and looks down the hall. Whoever it was is already gone. The next call he makes, I'm sure, is to the cops. 
According to him, this radio station has very high-tech security that requires thumbprints authorization to get in. Nobody should have been walking around after hours, especially not somebody dressed in ancient robes with their head down. After multiple nights of getting no sleep and experiencing a deep sense of dread, this person sets up multiple cameras to record exactly what happens to them at night. When they check out the cameras the next day, they find this strange encounter. A faint shadow appears to linger above them for a moment before fading away. It has an unnatural shape and almost seems to reach out at them. This video could be fake because this person was sleeping with their lights on, which is strange. But then again, maybe they were just trying to make sure there was plenty of light to catch the ghost on video. Some people have even suggested that this person was having an out-of-body experience during REM sleep. YouTuber Exploring with Josh explores the Screaming Witches Forest on Pendle Hill, and they aren't disappointed. Their first sign is when the REM pod goes off, Dude. It like it was like it even was poking the thing. Now I'm getting freaked out. When two go off at once, it's obvious they are in a powerful presence. Whoa! Whoa! Bro! They're both they're both going off at the same time! Yo! Holy Dude. I gotta get off this rock before I bust. Oh my god. Both at the same time. That was insane. How, how many times do you ever see a The spirit then starts to curse at them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That just lit up every single light! Another kind of ghost. F*** you! Holy sh**! It just said f*** you! Tell me not! Oh my god, it definitely did! Hey! Did it just hey! Say? It's an evil hey! And then they become more aggressive. Oh no! Bro, Hang on, bro. What the f*** was what that? Did you just do then? Bro, I didn't do anything, but I just felt like a really bad pain in my back. What do you like, mean? Like a scratch, like an actual, like like a dagger. No, Are you serious? No, I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm, like, I'm not joking. I mean, dude, I, I believe you. Their devices go berserk, and when Josh lifts his shirt, he reveals that he definitely was scratched by a spirit. Like, for, no, 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 dude, Josh, no, dude. Not, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You've got to be kidding me. Josh, have you done this? No. No, promise me. No, I, bro, I promise. I was just with you. Like, I, you guys see me this whole time. I've been recording this whole time. Josh, um. I feel there is definitely some residual witchcraft on Pendle Hill, and to me, it's clear that it will take no prisoners. A YouTuber named For Your Viewing Pleasure just keeps having paranormal problems caught on their outdoor camera. This ladder falls straight over for no reason at all, but you'll never guess what else. Motion sensor lights go off right before it happens. It must be a ghost or the wind. So the question is whether or not wind can set off motion activated lights. Apparently the answer is yes, but only if the sensitivity option is set too high. Since we don't know what this camera settings were, we don't know what was caught on tape, but all I do know is this would be freaky to see outside of my house. That's for sure. A mysterious shadow creature sighting was recently caught on dash cam in Falmouth, Maine. That's worth further investigation. The all black shape darts in front of the vehicle in a split second and then it's gone. Seemingly moving faster than any animal should be able to. I'm at a loss as to what could this bizarre sighting possibly be, but I'm guessing it's either a wildcat, a paranormal mist, or something completely different. I wouldn't be surprised if that stretch of road is haunted, so I'll be on the lookout for more shadow figure videos in this area. This live broadcast captures what appears to be an impossible error on camera. Watch the news anchor on the left and see what happens. Here it is again in slow motion in case you missed it. Everything from a hologram to an alien has been proposed, but I guess it could be some kind of camera malfunction. Maybe someone who knows more about cameras can let me know if this is a technical malfunction or not. If you're feeling a presence in your basement, there's probably a reason. Published to YouTube in October of 2019, 
The uploader explains that this was the first footage she captured of a ghost on her laptop with Xbox One Kinect. She says other paranormal things occurred along with the Kinect footage, including her laptop's battery running out of juice quickly, and a plastic Walmart bag moving of its own accord, despite no draft being present. As the uploader demonstrates the Kinect's capabilities, it shows only her limb movement for a while, when she brings a doll lacking a head and places it on a rocking chair. Something appears to be hovering by a bookshelf in the background, something with lime green energy. It remains there for a long while, but when the woman places the baby head on the door, a new Kinect figure appears right next to the rocker, or perhaps the same figure has moved. This time, its energy appears aqua. It remains there active for a very long time and then disappears at one point. When the woman walks past it to sit down on the couch, it doesn't again reappear. It's either about time to move or to throw out that doll, or both. There's something more to this cemetery than what meets the eye. Published by KBC Casadores de Fantasmas in January of 2022, Crew senses a presence at the Seaway Cemetery. As they're wandering through the grounds, something makes a sound behind the wall. <laughs> They all run to different parts of the wall to try and look in. Nothing is beyond it. Later, a strange light flashes, again from behind the wall in the graveyard. Something is sinister here, but I'm not sure what. While exploring Liverpool's most haunted hotel, the Adelphi, Jess and Ellie get the feeling they're not alone. Many have seen and heard strange things inside the haunted hotel, which was built in 1826 before being replaced in 1911. Wealthy passengers would stay here before embarking on their cruise liner journey to North America. Many famous people from Sinatra to Bob Dylan to Roosevelt and Churchill have also been guests. But it's the past on that call this place home. Published in January of 2022, Jess and Ellie wander through the historic hotel with its ballroom and haunted hallways. They check themselves into the purportedly haunted room 179. When they break out the spirit box, they realize the ghosts here are quite aggressive. <laughs> Then they ask if the spirit wants them to leave or stay, and they're given a clear answer. Do you want us to stay? Jess is the same voice. It is. I'm getting. The ladies did end up leaving that night. I'd be too freaked out to stay in the Adelphi a minute longer either. A statue jabs another statue with a trident in the middle of the night if this video is to be believed, which I have trouble doing, aside from looking like possible special effects because of the awkward way the statue moves. The way the camera mysteriously cuts out as soon as the trident makes contact is too much of a coincidence. This would be really creepy to see in real life but that'd be the only way I'd be convinced that this video is actually real. Ben of the YouTube channel Laney and Ben says paranormal events still occur in their forever haunted home. Here is a quick update of some of those events. First, a cup trick. <laughs> Followed by the opening of kitchen drawers. Watch the silverware closely. Things get even more dangerous in another video. And the kitchen soon devolves into this madness.
It doesn't appear that Lainey and Ben's poltergeists are fading anytime soon. In fact, the last video makes me think their powers are only getting stronger. A YouTube channel called Rick Now TV posted this while traveling across the European countryside. He is recording a dreary meadow from a train when he spots an oversized figure standing at a distance in the fog. The fog creature looks like a silhouette and is gone within the short time it takes him to zoom in and refocus, but in the instant it's there. You can see that it is about the same height as a nearby tree and large well. Rick Now TV suspects that this is a ghost, but perhaps it's further evidence of Slenderman. The elusive tall and dark creature, who is said to be able to change its shape, size, and appearance at will. Two friends are walking down the street completely unaware of a scary paranormal encounter waiting to unfold at random. Right here, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's following them. Look at it. Look at it. A strange black mist slowly descends out of nowhere. I do find the timing to be an eerie coincidence and agree this could be paranormal. With that said, the friend on the right seems to sense an apparition more than he sees it. He doesn't necessarily look terrified, but he does bring his hand up to his chin as if he is uncertain of something nearby. The other friend does not appear to see anything at all. If this was a ghost, then maybe the camera was recording something that neither one of them could fully perceive. Then again, this looks like it could be an out-of-focus insect walking along the camera lens. Let me know which possibility you think is the real answer. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.